Hey guys, it's Everything Apple Pro here. A lot of cool things to talk about today. A finalized iPhone 7 design, a possible price point, and more features. So basically a little recap, leaks, rumors, what's going on right now with the iPhone 7. And man, this news does move fast. So we're getting very close to the release. I mean, about three months to go. And production has started, so we're going to be seeing an increased ramp up in leaked components. Basically, we're going to be seeing a lot more information about the iPhone 7. And that begins today with a leak just a few hours ago of the supposedly finalized design of the iPhone 7. So it seems like Apple has finally made up their minds about what the iPhone 7 will look like and seems very similar to everything else we've heard and that's a good thing. I think it's a very handsome design. So we can see that the camera is sloped up, the antenna bands wrap around the phone like usual and this is supposedly the real gold color that it will ship in. And this shell doesn't tell us too much new except for one important detail and that's the speaker port. So notice there is a mirrored speaker on the left side where there used to be a headphone jack. And I would be so excited if those dual speakers were here to stay. That is an awesome feature I would love to have in my phone. Also, there is that camera, it is bigger. Not only are the edges tapered up, it is a bigger sensor. So we could probably expect a minor increase in megapixels, possibly 16, but that's just my hunch. I'm not talking based on any rumors on that one. Now the leaker does point out that this could be one of two iPhone 7 models Apple will be releasing. So one with the dual speakers, and one without. And this actually kind of makes sense because in my last video we talked about two separate display panels that have been leaked slightly altered. One could be for the one with the stereo speakers and one could be for the one without. Very interesting possibility. And an even earlier post from this leaker showed the iPhone 7 Plus or possibly the Pro model, depending on what Apple will name it, in closer detail. So we have a look at that camera lens and it looks like it's here to stay. So we heard that it might possibly be discontinued and even in that video I did say that it's a possibility that that could be a false rumor and it probably was so in detail I mean it doesn't look that bad honestly judge me for what you want but I don't think it looks too bad yeah it's a little bendery but the camera if it achieves a whole level of functionality that we don't have right now I'm all for it and I don't think it looks bad it's tapered it's elegant it's a little bit futuristic certainly but I mean it will make our phones so much better so it's certainly something I'm okay with also there is a protective border around it and we can see that there's a cutout but up top there is a cutout for some sort of sensor up there it could be a mic uh, earlier in some case leaks we saw that there are possible new mics on the top of the phone so possibly that's what we're seeing on the iPhone 7 Plus. Either way looking good in closer detail he also did have an image of the same iPhone 7 case so this is from a different source and basically someone that works in the manufacturing managed to snap a picture of it very similar tapered camera antenna bands going around the edges basically that is the iPhone 7. This is 90% the actual design of the iPhone 7. Maybe there'll be a few little, little aesthetic differences, but I'm, I'm really liking how Apple finalized this thing. And they managed to refine it in some interesting ways. So first off, the antenna bands, they finally settled on one of the curves. So we saw several options and this is the one that's gonna stay. And a smaller detail about the iPhone 7. We saw a lot of the rear shells, a lot of leaks of that, but nothing of the front of the phone. And apparently there will be a difference on it. So something that'll easily distinguish an iPhone 7 from a 6S. Makatakara is claiming that the earpiece on the iPhone 7 will be slightly wider. So cool, but why? Makatakara is saying they will be taking the ambient light sensor where it sticks out plainly in view and placing it into that earpiece where it's hidden out of sight. Again, another small refinement that's going to change how the phone looks, but at the same time makes it so much simpler. I like that. Also, what he's saying is that they will be taking the proximity sensor and dividing it from one sensor into two for better functionality, possibly better detection detection, basically a better, more capable proximity sensor. Now, the reason he says that this is happening is because a lot of the vendors that create screen protectors for iPhones have stopped receiving orders as they await instructions for a new design. And basically that's why he's saying this is going to happen. So there will be more functionality and a slightly changed look in the front. But something that's not being talked about a lot that I think could certainly happen is True Tone Display from the iPads making its way over to the iPhone, especially if Apple is tinkering with the ambient light sensor, I certainly think it could happen. And in an earlier report about five days ago, Makatakara said that Apple will not be shipping lightning-based headphones in the iPhone 7 box. So we're not gonna have headphones that'll directly plug into the iPhone in the box. They could 
would be sold separately, but Apple is going to be including an adapter in the box from 3.5 to Lightning and possibly a solution with charging. I don't know. He didn't say anything about that, but an adapter instead of actually capable Lightning headphones. I mean, if you're going to do it, go all the way, just, just throw them in. It's just kind of like keeping us in the past while making us adapt to the future. I mean, it is half a step. I'm saying Apple should take a full step into the Lightning based iPhone, just ditch the headphone jack completely. And it's finally happened. The $1,000 iPhone is here. With the new iPhone 7 Pro, Apple may be finally crossing into $1,000 territory on the top tier model of the iPhone 7 Pro at 256 gigabytes. So a new source on Weibo, a bit unconfirmed, but what they're saying is that there will be a $1,000 iPhone and gave pricing for all of the models. There will be an iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and 7 Pro. We've heard of this in the past. It was possible Apple canceled the Pro model. We really don't know because there was just so much confusion going on. But what the source is also confirming is that it will come in 32, 128, and 256 gigabyte storage options. Awesome, really, really good step. And pricing, I mean, pretty much basic. It's just the top tier model for the 7 Pro crosses into $1,000 territory. And can you guys believe this? Apple got beat to the punch with releasing their very own iPhone. Uh, this happens every year, I think it's really funny, but a Chinese replica maker has created an iPhone 7 clone. This is even before Apple announces theirs three months in advance. It's really funny. As soon as I can, I'll grab this, but let's take a closer look at some of the details. So it claims to be an iPhone 7 clone, yet it has the dual lens sensor, so might be an iPhone 7 Plus or 7 Pro clone. Cool, but it doesn't look too good. The Apple logo is just slapped on in the middle like, hey guys, we spent our entire budget planning and imagining what this thing could be like. Let's just put it in the middle, you know, where Apple doesn't put it and call it a day. All right, guys, let's do that. <laughs> Anyways, and supposedly they say this thing is gonna be really good. I mean, it took the entire state of Taiwan to make it. <laughs> Closer look at the bottom basically says, designed by Taiwan, made in China. All right, guys, everyone had their own input. There was polls about creating this thing, and here it is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will grab this as soon as I can, show you guys a review. I love clones. They, uh, they amuse me in some interesting ways. And some interesting points from the Wall Street Journal. They've actually been pretty reliable with their predictions in the past. So what they're saying is that the iPhone, as we knew, is not gonna be anything special. The iPhone after that will be. But about this year's iPhone, there were some other details we haven't heard anywhere else, which I question, but what they're saying is that it'll be up to one millimeter thinner, which everyone has been saying it will not get any thinner. They also said that it will have improved water resistance. So what I think they mean by that is just because it has no headphone jack, there'll be less places for water to get into, not necessarily that it will be water resistant, just more water resistant than it currently is, if that makes any sense. And there it is, guys, the latest on the iPhone 7. So don't be fooled. It doesn't seem like a huge upgrade, but that doesn't mean Apple can't refine the product that they currently have. And starting with the base storage, stereo speakers, a much better camera, a much better high-end model. So I'm very excited, very excited guys. Three months and counting down. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.